Okay, let's see if we can land it. Boom! Yeah, like two-thirds of a bar, maybe around there. You see the damage. All right, can we land a special beast cannon? We can! Love to see it. Either, okay, let's see if we can hit a special beast. And we got Shenra coming out. Let's go! Okay, he got the level four. You love to see it. Boom! So at level three, that's like a solid bar. Whoa, that's weird. Can we hit another one? Boom! Love to see it. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Lee, the Warlord. Back at it again with some more Survivor gameplay. And in this one, we will be showcasing the Beast himself. Beast Gohan. And in particular, we will be showcasing um, a special beast cannon. Oh, power key. Level 3 power key radar. You love to see it. Okay, so we are going up against a cell. So we do want to prioritize saving these sieves. Normally, I would ignore sieves. Well, not that one because it was going to give me my level th or my level 1. But um, like a sieve in this situation, I would ignore it. Get the key, go to the next area, boom, boom, boom. But we don't want Cell getting, ooh, two Dragon Balls already? Love to see it. We don't want Cell getting easy evolution meter, so we need to make sure we're actually rescuing these sieves when we see them. Okay, open this capsule up. The fact that we got, and I'm just going to plant this in the ground. I'm not actually going to full send, um, full fill that meter. But the fact that we got a level three power key radar is crazy. Be careful okay, too, okay? these. All right. And um, I don't know if we're going to be able to. Oh, I do see so. Oh, I hear him and I see his icon. So we're gonna try to land special beast cannon right now. Level one. Um, I think it does like two thirds of a bar. Okay, let's see if we can land it. Boom. Yeah, like two-thirds of a bar, maybe around there. You see the damage. Not bad, not bad. And that's an... I, I don't know if Larva Cell takes less damage or not, or if he's just, like, super thick. Because I feel like Armored Cell does take a little bit less damage. Okay, unfortunate they went down, but... We do see a lot of power keys over here. Okay, there we go. And... I hear a civvy. I think he's in this building. He's either in this building or in the building, Someone like, behind it. No, he's right here. Okay. We're going to rescue this civ. That'll give us a level two. Thank you. Um, the vending machine will actually give us our level two first, but you know what I mean. Okay. Do we have enough to Be get that too, cooldown okay? drink? I think we have enough to get a cooldown drink, too. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, we do. We have more than enough. Okay. I'm going to ping those sensu beans for later. If I have my IT, I could just go res that guy, but I don't. Okay. All right, just pick this up. Um, did they? Oh, okay. I thought they were dropping the Dragon Balls for me, but I guess not. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore this one and let's go find the power key. I think this is for A, so let's go ahead. Get this one right here. Is it in this cave? Yeah, it is in this cave. Okay. Um, how are you guys feeling about the new transfers? Honestly, I said this in my Orange Piccolo video, but I think Orange Piccolo is the superior transfer when it comes to the super attacks. When it comes to the key blast, their level one and level three key blasts are the same. Level one key blast is the double ball. Level three is the double beam. But the level two key blast for Gohan is Masenko, and the level two key blast for Gohan is Special Beam. So, or not Special Beam, or it is Special Beam, but the level two key blast for Piccolo is Special Beam. My bad. Okay, let's rescue this Civvy up here as well. Oh, that was close. I, I think that was from one of us. I don't think Cell has that move. Okay. All right, and let me get my happy ass over to E and find the key. Love that rhyme. Okay, is it in this box right here? No, it's not. Um, I think there's a cave over on the other side. 
Okay, let's go around. Did I take the long way? I think I might have took the long way. Long way around. Unfortunate, but nothing you can do. All right. Okay, I already have a power key radar. Boom, Sensu Beans. Love to see it. Let me go over here and IT to this guy and res him. Okay, this might be a little risky since Cell is right here, but I have my D change and I plan on distracting. Okay. Oh, unfortunate. Let's instant rise, get out of the way. All right, can we land a special beast cannon? We can! Love to see it. That damage is all right. It's not bad. Um, I honestly think special beam cannon is... Boom! You didn't think that was happening. I think special beam cannon is the superior um, special attack. Yeah, it takes... It's not that it takes a long time for special beast cannon to come out. Ah, oh, we're dead here, unfortunate. But special beam cannon... It's just so much faster. It can combo after vanish. I'm pretty sure they cost the same amount and do the same amount of damage. So why wouldn't you want to run special beam over special beast other than, I guess, the cinematics? I don't know. Hopefully we get rezzed here. But yeah, it's just... It's not that special beast cannon is bad. It's just a little bit harder to land than special beam cannon. So, I, I mean... It's not, I'm not doing a good job of showing how difficult it is to land because I have landed it raw two times in a row. But typically, that doesn't happen. I'm kind of picking and choosing my spots a little bit. But a higher skilled raider is not going to get hit by that raw. They're either going to hear you charging up or they're just literally not going to stay in one spot. Unfortunate that Cell got his level four there, but um, not much you can do. Okay. Oh, dude, is this GG's? No, we don't have a shield. We have our instant. Okay, instant rise is the only thing that can help me here. Boom! And we fucking choked him! Let's go! You love to see it. We're going to live to see another day. All right, I'm going to go in here and pick up this Sensu Bean just in case I do go. Oh, my God. There's no way, dude. Is that a shield? Okay. He moved the, he moved the Kamehameha, luckily. And there's a shield in here. You love to see it. Okay, now we are healthy. We don't have any of our... Well, we have um, instant rise. But other than that, we don't have any of our active skills to help us escape back. So if we can just chill... I'm not going to chill in this one spot the whole time. But if we can chill as in avoid combat, we should be able to, you know, get everything that we need. Okay, is there a Civ in here? Yes, there is. I'm going to go ahead and rescue this Civ. Ooh, small cube there. I think... Oh! Yeah, we're definitely getting our level three off of this sieve um, between those two small cubes and these three that's going to pop out. You be careful okay. Too, okay. Boom. Boom. Yep. That's exactly how many we needed. All sieves are gone, too. You love to see it. I mean, he's level four already, so it's not like it's going to do anything for us if he kills the sieves. But, you know, still doing a good job. Okay. Yeah, he got him out of there. I wasn't going to be... You know what? I, since I'm about to have my D change back, I think there's... Yeah, there's enough cooldown drinks. I'm going to transform, drink all three of these, and then go over there and fuck with Cell. In case you guys didn't know, at your level three, if you drink three cooldown drinks while your D change... Boom! Get off of there! You will have your D change back when you D transform. Either... Okay, let's see if we can hit a special beast. And we got Shenron coming out. Let's go! Come on! Don't throw, bro. Get the level four. Get the level four. Okay, he got the level four. You love to see it. Boom! So at level three, that's like a solid bar. Almost a bar. Like, that's what? A fucking pixel away from being a full bar? Whoa! That's weird. Can we hit another one? Boom! Love to see it! Can we hit another one? No, we whiffed that one. But I got one more in me. Let's go. We need to get the lock on to happen. There we go. All right. Toss it out. Hold him still. Boom. Love to see it. Okay. You know, special beast cannon in a one-on-one -on -one situation is a lot more difficult to land. But in a situation like that, I think it goes to show having teammates helps. I mean, obviously, everything about this game is teamwork unless you're playing as Raider. But having a team behind you to land that attack helps. Okay, we are kind of naked. We can get out though, as long as our um, as long as we don't like 
waste any of our active skills. Like, they don't get popped when we try to use them. Like, say we change missile out or something like that. We're in a pretty good spot. We don't have any D-change, but I don't think we're going to need it. Okay, I'm going to instant rise when he gets close. Oh, dude, I got cuffed. Okay, I'm going to change missile out. Hopefully he doesn't. No, it doesn't look like he's going to uh, focus on me. I'm going to put this shield on. And is there anything else? I'm going to open these. Oh, we got our D-changes back. Yeah, it's GG's. These two people, this level three and this level two, they better be able to finish off this L. Come on, one more hit. One more hit. Come on. I'm going to IT and try to help with a distraction. Ah, they got him. They got him. Let's go. Um, I think that was a pretty good showing of special beast cannon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a second video today showing off Demon Ray, his double hit super. But let's see. Did we get five? We better have gotten five plats, bro. We were fucking, we were playing our asses off. Five plats. You love to see it. All right, guys. If you like that one, please leave a like a comment and subscribe like i said um a little bit later today probably around 8 p.m eastern time i'll be dropping the demon ray showcase video so make sure you guys tune back in for that one it's been real it's your boy lee the warlord and i'm out of here peace